This is Sway. 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 In the morning. In the morning. In the morning. Shake your body. Wake your fuck ass up. That crust out your eyes. Uh, we've been talking about the sound set uh, festival, if you will, that's taking place May 25th in, uh, in the Twin Cities, lovely city of Minneapolis, um, Minnesota. And I had a chance to come and for the first time host be one of the hosts um, last year. Right. And it was just, oh man, it was just a, a, a glorious feeling because it reignited me with a moment, it reignited me with a feeling I've always had when King Tech and I first started <clears throat> as artists, as rappers, B-boys, dancing, write, writing, you know, uh, graph writers and, um, and moving into radio as well as putting out music independently and right. then doing concert series and showcases and every all the things we end up doing and still do. Um, and all the way to MTV to now. If sound set kind of, it, 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 you know, it's like when Kanye say in the corner song, I always bring this up. I wish I could give you this feeling. Mm. I, I wish, wish I, I could, could give, give you, you this, this feeling. feeling. Uh-uh. 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 Mm. Yeah, and sound set can give you that feeling. And, and and part of the reason why is the people that are behind it. And, and, and one of the people that's, uh, that's just consistent with hip hop, when you talk about Minneapolis, um, is with us right now. Give it up for my man Slug, man. Atmosphere is here. Yeah. Atmosphere is here. Hey, thank you. What up, man? Thank you for such a, a beautiful introduction, man. I appreciate that a lot. Hey, man, it's just, it's not written down, man. <laughs> it's just coming from the heart, it's, man. It's freestyle. Um, I remember um, back on the Wake Up Show, and I always say this, but I like to repeat myself because sometimes you got to, through repetition, is how things resonate with people. But back when the Outcast, I mean, not the Outcast, the Overcast album came out. Um, in late 90s, what was that, 97? 97. 97. Yeah. Yeah. Um, and it introduced the world to what was going on in Minneapolis and, and that surrounding area, um, artists from that area. Um, and, and now we're in 2014. And, man, it's, it, it's fun when you fall into these pockets around the country and you just discover. Mm-hmm. You know, you just discover. Sound set different from any of the other – do you call it a festival, a music festival? What do you call it? Yeah, we call sound set a, a – a festival, you know, uh, just a celebration of music, a celebration of hip hop. Yeah. You know what I mean? But uh-huh. uh, but we we view it as a festival. Those that organize it, just because that word festival, you know, that it means a lot of work. And you know, and so. talk about <laughs> the organizers. Who are those who organize? It? Uh, it's a it's a family of cats that that all live in Minneapolis. It's a uh, Jay Bird, Sadiq, mm-hmm. uh, Kevin Beecham, uh, Sky. You know, it's mm-hmm. it's it's essentially the same the same unit, the same crew. That, that that I work with with Rhyme Sayers. Well, Rhyme Sayers. You know, it's, okay. it's 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 Rhyme uh, Sayers being an independent label and well, speak, speak on that. Too. Rhyme Sayers is an independent record label out of Minneapolis mm-hmm. and um about 8 8 years ago, 7 years ago, we started up that festival Soundset. Mm-hmm. And when we first started, it was all indie rap groups, you know what I'm saying? It was all friends, people that I come across touring, you know, I'm talking about little brother uh, dilated peoples, yeah. Aesop Rock, you know. Mm-hmm. And then as we were able to grow and expand, we've been able to turn it into a, a festival that that represents the whole tree, not just that indie, yeah, underground backpack part of the branch. You know what I'm mm-hmm. saying? But 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 you know we're we're able to we're able to start bringing in more mainstream groups. We're we're able to bring in uh, old school groups. We're we're able to just try to to, to encompass as much of this music from mm-hmm. this culture that we love. You know, as well as you know. I mean, it's not just a concert, but you know, there's a tent for the b boys. There's yeah. a there's a there's a tent for DJs and producers. Mm-hmm. You know what I'm saying? There's a, I mean, we have a custom car show in the back. back you know what yeah. I mean? There's yeah. a there's wow. there's, the, there's there's a wall for graffiti writers, and we bring in select writers from around the country to Ooh. come and, and showcase. You know, and uh, yeah, it's I mean, all in all, it's just like a it's a it's a it's kind of a full day of you know. I like I'm kind of I like to romanticize it. It's it's my way of giving back. Yeah. To my audience that supported me, but it's yeah. also my way to give forward and to show the younger people who ain't, you know, nowadays as I'm getting older, my audience might not even be these young kids anymore. These yeah. young kids are in the new stuff, but they yeah. still come to this event. And so it's my way to also have my hand in what they get to experience, yeah. you know, because even if you aren't feeling my record, that don't mean that we can't still have a connection here. You yeah, know what I'm saying? Point, and, and, and so, so my thing is to stay as, Invested and is 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 inside of this movement for as long as they'll allow me to. Whether or not I'm on a stage or I'm behind the scenes mm-hmm. or, or no matter what I'm doing, I want to play a role in what in in in, in making sure to do, to deliver good culture to these children. You and you're know? doing a I, I, it's a great job, man. Because <clears throat> last year, I mean, you do got a lot of underground independent artists, 
But then, you know, Juicy J came in and, <laughs> and slammed the Tech Nine, slammed the Schoolboy Q, slammed the Snoop, ended it. You know, uh, Snoop Lion at that moment. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You know, yeah, ended yeah. it. This year, we're talking Nas. We're talking Wiz Khalifa. We're talking Tyler the Creator, Earl Sweatshirt, right? Cypress Hill, Pusha T. Mm. I mean, geez, my gosh, man. Sound set. And, then it, and, 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 it's, and it's affordable. And it's fifty two dollars. I mean, now, talk about that. I part. mean, Rhapsody Nine Four Hundred, Abso, Atmosphere, G Easy, Brother Ali, who kills it. Snow the product, um, Chance the rapper. It's fifty, and I'm not naming everybody that's going to be on every stage. You know, it's only fifty two dollars. How can people uh, get tickets? You can go to SoundsetFestival.com. dot com. Uh -huh. uh, otherwise, you could just type in the word "soundset" and it'll be one of the first things that pop up. You know, if you if you if you like to if you got the Google game going on, you know what I mean. But uh, <laughs> you get tickets, you know, uh, directly from us too. We got a record store in Minneapolis, and so anybody that is uh, is, is watching this or, or listening to this that's closer to home, you know, you can go in the record store and get it without any kind of fees or service charges. You know, we we try to keep everything as hands on as possible. You know, yeah. uh, the old joke was, you know, once you start getting your foot in the door, you gotta you gotta diversify. What you're doing, you know, we took that joke serious and we try to do and and, and, and have our fingers on everything that we possibly can within this. You yeah, know? man. Yeah, I like that. Sound Me set. Too. So I'll be there. Have the B. Um, I, I'm going to set up my own booth. I'm selling T-shirts. I got the answers. <laughs> Get it. I'm bringing them back. People stopping me on the streets. I don't want this T-shirt still. I was in the right. Vegas this past weekend, mm -hmm. and all these people, all these girls, were like, "Did you make any my size that could fit me?" <laughs> because it's becoming a bigger slogan now. I mean, people in church, church. are wearing <laughs> "I got the answer" T-shirts. Has nothing to do with what happened with Kaya and I. It's talk, they're talking about referencing God. Mm -hmm. I got the answer, God. Wow, ain't that something? Amen. All right, anyway, all right, yo, okay, yo, Slug, so you got the new album, Southsiders, right? Yeah, it just dropped today. Just dropped today. Congratulations for that right there. Woo! All right, uh, I want to open up the phone lines, but, I, man, if you can, man, can you perform something live for us, man? Woo. Yeah, sure, We got sure. that camera thief. I like to rap. Yeah, you do. I and, do. And I like a rapper who raps. <laughs> yeah, look at that. That's rare nowadays. <laughs> uh, camera thief, what is this about? This song is kind of, you know, uh, th there was a point in, in my world where I started to try to figure out how to put my ego in the back seat because mm -hmm. it was it was it was trying to drive everything and when i when i went through some of the i, I guess some of the transformations or, or some of the evolution that i was going through with that i, I realized you know when, when it's when it's applied to to what i do for a living you know ego is a very important thing to us yeah. you know what i'm saying it's it's part of the magnet that draws people to you you know what i mean but I, I realized, you know, maybe I'm not the most important part of this equation between me and my audience. I'm starting to realize that, you know, my audience is looking for something. And if I didn't exist, they would look for it somewhere else. And yeah. so, so, you know, as, as, a, as a person who likes to take pictures, you know, the, the concept of camera thief came to me was like, you know, I'm stealing moments. I'm, I'm, I'm taking these moments. And, you know, we were kind of talking about that earlier with the, with mm -hmm. the concert thing. We're, mm -hmm. we're, we're stealing these moments and taking them back home. But, but truthfully... I'm realizing that, you know, I'm, these aren't even my moments anymore. The minute I put my moment out there for somebody else is the minute that they get to take it. So really, Camera Thief, this song, I mean, it's kind of a, you know, it's not the most direct, straightforward, literal song. It's yeah. kind of one of my more abstract joints. But but really what it's about is just kind of it's just kind of me kind of, I guess, submitting to the fact that this is y'all's moment. This ain't my moment, even though I'm the one writing about it or I'm yeah. the one talking about it. Like, this is really... However, y'all want to interpret this and take that—that's what it's gonna be. I could—I uh -huh. could all day get up in front of you and go, "No, this song is about this, this, and this." Yeah. But really, right. you're gonna interpret it how you want it and take mm -hmm. it. So therefore, the camera thief is the audience. Let's rock out, man. Slug atmosphere is here. Uh, we can look, keep talking. It's got a long intro. Life radio, ladies and gentlemen, <laughs> living your life through virtual reality. Uh, every moment you have, you've seen it through a camera lens. You're not in the present. Oh, you like this intro? Nah, keep this? going to it. <laughs> Go ahead, man. You interpret it the way you want to interpret it. Exclusive. But I'm going to see my life through my own eyes. Not through an iPhone. Ooh. So how you want to see your life, Tracy G? I want to see my life through the eyes of God. Yo, slug. Atmosphere is in here. We got Najee with the camera on you, man. How you want to see your life, brother? All right, check it out. Camera 
a thief Take pictures Run with the parallel stitches Attach my feet to the path I beat Teach myself to keep them answers brief Gnash my teeth like the last to feast Imagine me on that abandoned beach Sand and sea as if the jazz was free I'm ice cream mixed with gasoline Direct attention to the craftsmanship Neglect to mention that the past will stick Like initials carved in the concrete Like the tattoo that hides on your mommy I still kick it with angels The difference is instead of the bar I'm at the kitchen table The starlight shines through the glass But you feel safe underneath that mask Don't you? Ferris wheel Give rides The scars healed in time to get high Lock the door and hide the keys Let's go describe how to climb a tree don't sign the lease, just cop a corner for you to curl up and try to sleep Those cheap police won't find my wings, I keep my dreams inside my dreams And if I had a time machine, I'd probably use it like a vacuum and try to clean It kinda seems quite more than a handful of these regrets have been circumstantial now give me all the cash out the drawer And touch that mustache down on the floor And I'll be in court holding a pitchfork Before I let the contest outlast the sport Sway in the morning Atmosphere, Southsiders Pocket watch Impatient Find a mate then make the migration Break the rules but first break the rulers and keep it moving like a rumor I don't need to defend my defensiveness I keep to myself, my family and friendships I got enough people I could disappoint If you disagree, I think you missed the point Now go ahead and grab a chair Let me tell you about the last few years Pulled out a sack full of Samson's hair And put it on the dash like a dancing bear I wrote y'all a horoscope it won't fit on that post-it note But if I had to sum it up into a shorter quote It goes, it goes, you might as well row that boat Ah, camera thief I like that Yeah My man Slug is here, 888-742-3345, Atmosphere <clears throat> The album is Southsiders Is that because you're from the south side of Minneapolis? I mean, technically, yeah We are from the south side of Minneapolis And, I, you know one of the old rules that I've always adhered to is you represent where you're from with yeah. your music, you know. Uh, but I didn't want it to be so exclusive. So I named it Southsiders for my city or, or for my side of town. But also, you know, a lot of the album deals with um, just kind of uh, the flip side of things. You know, mm -hmm. we, we, we tend to celebrate a lot of uh, the positives, but every positive has its, its negative. And I don't want to, you know, sound like a, uh, I'm on some weird philosophical bullshit but uh, yeah, but yeah. but truth be told you know it, it, even you know love uh er, you know er, everything has its south side has yin its and the yang, side, right? i guess the yin okay. and the yang you okay. know and, and, and this record kind of dealt with a lot of that stuff you know this dealt with this record deals with the uh the 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 some of the maybe negative passion that comes along with love this record deals with uh, the, the ideas of death and mortality that come along with life this record deals with a lot of the things that that i kind of in at least in my head yeah uh, I, I I I attribute to struggle to life of struggle and and and, and to me that's what I kind of wanted to push with the with the name of the album even because oh. you know I ain't no kidding San Antonio care about the South Side of Minneapolis you know yeah, what I'm yeah, saying yeah, I, yeah, I don't yeah. want to be exclusive about uh -huh. it you know right. but uh -huh. but in the same breath I wanted to give one good final shout out to my city <laughs> before I take off and move to Maui because I'm kind of tired of these winters yep. <laughs> <laughs> don't I'm blame not you. mad at that I'm a now Slug from hearing you um speak and seeing you perform it feels very natural that you would choose hip hop as a medium to express yourself but then I was reading um one of the original members of Atmosphere Spawn that he had to convince you to start rapping is that true i mean i always rapped but he had to convince me to do it in front of people you know uh -huh. when i was a kid in high school i mean there was even footage that, that that showed up on youtube recently of me rapping on stage at 17 like 1989 mm -hmm. you know i always rapped because i loved it but i wanted to be a dj you know i've been collecting records since i was 11 to me the dj was the coolest person in the world the dj yeah. controlled everybody's yeah. mood whether right. it was at the party or on the radio or where, wherever the djs that that personality was cool the mc was more kind of a flamboyant thing more of a a, a loud mouth a, a clown a joker yeah. the dj was the cool one you know what i mean mm. and then i think in time you know between artists like rakim 
showing me that the rapper could be the cool one too. Yeah. But also then, you know, the homie Spawn uh, being in my ear about it because I was his DJ at first. You right. Know? Um, I kind of let the the rapper out of me, which I'm glad I did because I, I realized there was a loudmouth clown flamboyant dude inside of me. You know <laughs> what I mean? Like, you know, I, I was able to 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 find my voice and figure out what I wanted to communicate. You know, dope. Uh, and then I can always go back to being a DJ someday. Okay. Yeah. I still know how to wiki wiki. You still hey. know how to wiki wiki? Oh yeah. Um, <laughs> how did your relationship like? When did you first meet Murs? Because you guys, I met Murs. He was on tour. Uh, the Living Legends were on tour with Hieroglyphics. This was probably 1998. I'm yeah. going to take a wild guess. And they came through the Twin Cities. And and at the time, if you came through Minneapolis, either I was going to throw a tape at you when you're on stage, or I was going <laughs> to try and meet you somehow. You know. And when I met Murs, and even some of the legends like Grouch and these guys, they already knew who I who I was. Yeah. You know. And actually, they. The funny thing was, I think it was Hieroglyphics that introduced them to Atmosphere and Rhyme Series because uh, I had met Hyro like the year before and kind of got to kick it with them backstage, you know. And it, it, to me at the time, it was just like, oh, I'm, I'm hanging out with Dell. He's my hero. You know yeah, what I mean? Yeah. But I didn't realize that 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 it was like setting setting the blocks in place for like an actual friendship with these guys, you know. But then Hyro had introduced my music to the legends and uh, the legends... Uh, like we had so much in common because we were all mm -hmm. like the next batch of underground MCs, you mm -hmm. know what I mean? And so me and Merce clicked immediately just because, you know, personality wise, we, we both had a lot in common. We both had a lot of the same kind of, we both saw a lot of this the same way, you know? And so one day uh, I called him up and was like, hey, I'm having a hard time. I need to get out my city for a minute. I need somewhere to go. And he was like, hey, come out to LA. I just bought a new crib. You can come stay with me. Wow. So I went out there and slept on his couch for a couple of weeks, and then we decided to make a record. You yeah. know, we didn't. I didn't go was out that there. The felt record. That was a felt record. Okay. I didn't. I didn't go out there with the intentions of making a record. I went out there to go kick it and to just get away from you know a lot of the a lot of the craziness that was going on in my town at the uh -huh. time. You know what I mean? And so that and that was that was really the bond that 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 that, that bond to last forever. You know, me and Mercer stuck with each other. Yeah, Mercer's doing well. He signed with Tech Nine over yep. there. Strange yeah. music now, yep. so he's doing it big. You guys started a, um, didn't y'all have some like women's record or yeah, something? Yeah, Did I mean, that, is that ever? I mean, you know, we put out a couple of records, but it was, it, you know, neither of us should be in charge of numbers. Okay, okay, <laughs> like, good. Enough said. Oh, enough said right <laughs> but there. But yeah, we, we tried, we, we started a little boutique label to put out records from friends of ours. You know what I'm saying? And uh, and it was cool. We put out like, I, I believe three albums. Uh -huh. and, uh, and, 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 you know, the one thing was one of the records we had a hand in was a, a band that eventually got kind of large. Uh, we were able to do the vinyl issue of a, of a band called The Whole Steady, and those dudes are, like, big now. You know what I mean? They're from out here somewhere. They're from uh, New York? Yep. All right, I want to take some phone calls, 888-742-3345. Uh, we got Roy on the line. Roy, good morning. How you doing? How you guys doing this morning? Jay, what's up, man? Say what up to Slug from Atmosphere. Hi. How you guys doing? Hey, great, great. I like that uh, camera thief joint. Thank you, Roy. Um, I lived in uh, the Twin Cities for a minute, and uh, what I noticed is uh, there's a lot of live music, uh, uh, a lot of uh, inspirational music there. How did that affect you growing up there in the Twin Cities with all that, um, um, you know, musical influences? I think it had a huge effect on me, man. Like, um, Knowing that there was so much music being made and written in so many venues that that were there to perform in, having all of those resources there just kind of opened opened up our, uh, our 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 opened up our mind to the fact that you know even though we weren't in New York or L.A. where we could maybe you know go and, and hand our demo to somebody or or, or, or go and, and sit down with a label and try and talk them into us. Um, we still could get out there and bring our music to people. You know what I mean? And, and Minneapolis has been known for a, a, a music town forever. It's, uh, it's, it's in fact not just music, but art in general. It's very, yeah. right. it's very supportive of itself. You know, and I and I blame that on the winter. You know, six months out of the year, people are stuck in their house and they go crazy. So they got to get out and they got to go see something or do something. And so everybody, you know, there's there's that that. It's almost like uh, I don't want to say it's a it's 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 it, we're, we're all kind of stuck together, so therefore we're, we're forced to support each other. Well, you say stuck to... together because it's so cold that you you frozen together. Yeah, we are frozen <laughs> together. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> all right, we got big Ice cap, chip. big cap <laughs> on the line from Minnesota. Hey, big hat, what up with you, man? Hap, what up, hey, dude? What's up? <laughs> What's up with you, Slug? What's I, up with you, Heather B. Tracy? Hey, 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 hey Hap, check this out, man. May twenty fifth, I'm gonna be one of the hosts. Uh, for sound set, we got Nas, Wiz Khalifa, Two Chains, Chance the Rapper, Tyler, Earl Swesher, Pusha T, Cypress Hill, DJ Qbert, who is one of the illest turntable technicians to ever be born. Right. Absol, of course, Atmosphere. You gonna be there, brother? Ali will be there too. 
Oh, yeah. I'm, I'm going to be there, man. I just wanted to call you and tell you a funny story. When I work out in North St. Paul, and I, a lady from my job comes up to me, and she says, hey, um, I'm picking up my niece from Germany, and she loves hip-hop. She's like, where can I go and find Sluggo? I'm <laughs> like, you got to be kidding me. I'm like, you got to go to Soundset then. So I, I'm going to be there, man. This, this will be the first time that I get to go, too, but I've never got to go, man. So hey, that's what's up. Man, that's big, man. Look, this is what I want to do, man. You guys want to get tickets, Google Soundset, Soundset Music Festival. Um, you'll be able to get tickets. It's only $52. Wow. Um, best concert you're going to uh, see for, the, uh, for that, that price, man, that's going. Best music festival. Hey, man, can you go back to work for me? Yeah, can course, we perform man. another song? Yeah, yeah, yeah. All yeah. right, which one you want to do? Um, I mean, honestly, I do. I got there's two more there. I'll do either of them. You know what I okay. mean? I, I I feel like you might want me to do the the joint called Kanye West. Yeah, they, I was. Yeah, like, I, you knew that, right? <laughs> I was leaning towards the Kanye West song. All right. Right. Can we do that? And Let's, that song, and that, and you made that song because. Uh, you know what? I made that song because well, the song is about the courtship of my wife. Yeah, and and a, a, a lot of the I guess tumultuous. Is that a word that we went through yeah. together? You know, and, and and for instance, like this song, you know, love is always a positive thing, but there's a part of love, the, the passion, that sometimes can be viewed as a negative thing. Sometimes mm -hmm. when you're overly passionate, people don't know what to make of that. They don't know what to see there. Mm -hmm. And so I wrote this song about loving something so much that you don't care what other people think of you or what their judgment is about about loving something so hard that it kind of appears as if you just don't give a fuck when truthfully you you give too much of a fuck and mm -hmm. so i named it kanye west because i just felt like you know this is a person who i i, I feel like you know a lot of, a lot of people especially in the in the i guess the the media industrial complex will view him as as oh he's he's flipping out again he's he's freaking out he's doing his thing and and, and, and to me I just see this dude that loves what he is about, loves what he's doing so much that that he don't really care what mm -hmm. everybody else thinks of him, mm -hmm. you know? And so, I, I, you know, in the past, I've named a lot of songs after celebrities, you know, basically because I feel like, you know, that celebrity, what they were about, or even what their name is, kind of personifies a, a certain adjective or a certain action or, or whatever. So it's like I just take somebody's name and I, I turn it into a verb or I turn it into an adjective. Yeah. And, and so with the Kanye West thing, I basically took his name and turned it into a uh, adjective to mean when you love something so much, you just don't care. Atmosphere, Sway in the Morning, Southside is the name of the album, it's Kanye West. Slug out. If you're watching this on your computer, do me a favor. Put your hands in the air like you really do care. <laughs> oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Put your hands in the air like you really do care. <laughs> oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Put your hands up like you give a damn and a fuck. Put them uh, up. Uh, Put them up. Uh, Put your hands in the air like you really do care. Oh, yeah. She said she wants somebody she could take care of. And right then is when we paired up. Pull a chair up and make a space for yourself. Y'all should taste what I felt. It's probable that those on the bottom gonna hold you accountable. It's lonely at the top and it's also hostile. Everybody got their own course full of obstacles. Don't let your heart grow cold like a popsicle. She said she wants someone to treat her like an equal. And right then we started speeding towards Reno. Burning rubber in a burgundy regal. Fly like a dove, then dive like an eagle. I'm a 70 douche. That year was a classic. Buzz got loose. Now we here trying to catch it She said that she was unimpressed That's when I stood up and did the Kanye West Now put your hands in the air like you really do care Oh yeah Put your hands in the air like you really do care Oh yeah Put your hands up like you give a damn and a fuck Put them up Put them up Put them up Put them up Put your hands in the air like you really do care Sway in the morning Oh yeah She said she wanted a place to feel free And right then we started building a team Trying to make a better perfect A little purpose The only thing for certain is the sleep disturbance But ever since people started measuring time We've been looking for an easy way to settle our minds Take a load off, 
or take your clothes off or shut your eyes and roll straight towards the roadblock. She said she wanted something that she could blame. Right then is when I offered my name It's the only thing I got that'll always remain So I'ma share it with you so you can come play too She says she wants to find a cure for death I know she meant that in the purest sense But when I finally die, put on your Sunday best And throw your hands in the sky like Kanye West Now put your hands in the air like you really do care Oh yeah Put your hands in the air like you really do care Oh yeah, yeah. In the morning. put your hands up like you give a damn and a what? Slug put them up, Slug on. put them up, Slug on. put your hands in the air like you really do care. Oh yeah, you need to prove nothing to me. The time got a price, but the trouble is free. If we gonna struggle, I'ma do it comfortably and live life like I love to breathe. Y'all need to prove nothing to me. The time got a price, but the trouble is free. If we gonna struggle, I'ma do it comfortably and live life like I love to be. Yeah. Atmosphere. Kanye you West. You ain't got the answer. <laughs> <laughs> we'll have we'll have them out sound set when we sell them t-shirts. Get it. All right. Sway in the morning. Save four five. We're going to take your calls at 874 3345 We're going to take them to Iowa. We got TJ on the line. TJ, good morning. How you doing? Hey, Sway, Heather B, Tracy G. What up, what TJ? Up? How you guys doing? Third time caller, a long time listener. Man, you're a citizen. Uh, Sway in the yeah, morning. thanks, man. I asked for citizenship last time, actually, and you granted it to me. So there it you. is, man. All right. <laughs> okay, good. Hey, man, uh, Ammo, just want to let you know, uh, I was I live downtown in the loft, downtown Des Moines. Uh, over by that hotel. Do you remember your show last summer? Yeah, 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 yeah. Yeah, all right. Wait, was that so last summer? A bunch of... Oh, yeah, I don't know. It was last summer, yeah, with Grouch yeah, and Eli. Yeah, yeah totally. Out the yeah. outdoor joint. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, man, it was awesome. So we were, uh, had a bunch of friends over. We were all drinking on our patio. And all of a sudden, we, like, hear some music, and then it starts getting a little louder. And then you come on, and all my buddies are like, that atmosphere? And I was like, uh, yeah, it, it could be. So we ended up walking down there. We went and saw your show. It was just awesome that we oh, that's, uh, well, were you uh, were you one of the homies that was standing on the bridge? Um, no, I didn't. We didn't stand on the bridge. I had a loft downtown or by that uh, by that uh, embassy suites gotcha. on the south. North, northeast side so oh yeah that's we, the uh, embassy suites you know we ended up coming in that whole, up, they, they still mad at me there because i i took off without giving them they did they, they, yeah you know what that's never mind you don't want to bring that <laughs> up man i'm sorry uh, yeah, andrew is in cali good morning andrew how you doing man doing good man what's up sway what's up slug what up though what's up man i just want to thank you because you've helped me through music for, for so long man since dino spectrum to now bro your music, I will always be a fan, and I always follow you until I die, bro. Just wanted to express that emotion. Hey, man, thank you for listening, and just do me a favor. Know that uh, it wasn't me, man. It was you. You you got through all that. You know what I'm saying? Like, the, thanks for listening to us and letting us be part of the the soundtrack to that. But you know, a lot of times people will say stuff to me like, "Hey, you know, you you, you helped me get through this or that." And I just want to always remind you, like, nah, it was you. You got through that. You know what I mean? Because because if I hadn't have been there. There would have been something else there that you would be blaming it on, but you got to blame yourself, man. You 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 got through that. All right, bro. Thank you so much. Good, man, that's big, man. I'm gonna take one more call, man. I know we got to wrap up. Big T is in Cali. Big T, what up, man? What up, Sway? How you doing, family? I'm doing good, man. Hey, what's up, Slug? What's up, bro? Hey, man, I want to show you that you got a lot of support out here in Southern California. G, we love when you come out here, dog. Hey, I appreciate that, homie. Thank you very much. You are one of the realest MCs out there, dog. Word up, dog. Hey, that's big. That means a lot. Hey, I'm going to see you in the fall, right? September. Come on come on into the Palladium and come kick it for our birthday, man. Me and Anthony selling our celebrating our birthday at the Palladium uh, early September. I want to see you there, T. All right, for sure, man. I'll be there, dog. That's what's All up. Right. All right. Hey, man, I want to thank you for coming by this morning, man. Give it up for Slug, man. Atmosphere. Thanks for having Rhyme me. Thanks for having me, man. Sound set. Man, the parties continue the weekend of May 25th. We're going to broadcast that Friday morning. We're going to be live in Minneapolis, right? Right? And um, we're, we're, come here, Kelly. Tell us where, where we're going to be broadcasting from. Oh, yeah. From the Fifth Element. Oh, we're yeah, broadcasting yeah. from the Fifth from, Element. From the record store. Oh snap! I'm, I'm gonna come down there, man. I mean, I'm gonna audition. I want to be. I want to. be a regular look. on the show. <laughs> oh, come on through, man. We'll be broadcasting from the Fifth Element that Friday morning, which is the 23rd. Is it? Yep, the 23rd. The 23rd. Look, right Friday morning, 23rd. If you're in, the, if you're in the 20, uh, Twin Cities, every single one of you, even if you're in the outskirts 
are invited to come down and be a part of this live broadcast, man. We just want to show, highlight, spotlight the energy that's coming from that area, man. It's incredible. That's dope. Uh, we're going to have a good time. It's Sway in the morning. Only on Shade 45.